Across Africa, women and girls are suffering in silence, ashamed, isolated, outcast. They have endured agonizing prolonged childbirth, often with no medical help. Their baby is dead and they wake up incontinent. Fistula is almost unknown in the States, at least obstetric fistula. You never see it. Uh, if you do, it might be once in a career. Typically, our patients are young women between the age of 16 and 30, and uh, they got fistula as a result of obstructed labor that was not taken care of by a timely C-section. We have to do CBC. In most of the cases, when a woman has obstructed labor, this is called obstructed labor because the head, again, is too big to pass through those pelvic bones, the baby also dies as a result of the prolonged obstructed labor. This is the reality for an estimated two million women and girls today. Women and girls just like you, your mother, your wife, your sister, your daughter. The baby died and he was 4.2 kilograms. I start leaking urine for almost three months. I've had fistula for 40 years. Most of the times I was just alone. That's why I decided that I should come here and seek the help because I was tired of the way my life was. I got fistula when I was 12 after giving birth and I gave birth to a baby girl, which did not survive. And after that time, I, it was just fistula. The urine came out, the stool. So I felt like I was, I was not in this world. And it was very difficult. I didn't know, I didn't know what to use, because in rural, there is no pampas, so you just use clothes, but those clothes, they, they are not good, they are not healthy, so you feel like you are already dead. But there is hope. The Freedom from Fistula Foundation provides free maternity care and free surgeries to heal women who are suffering. If they come to us, either through word of mouth or through the hotlines or through a radio advert, they are able to get the fistula surgery for free. It is simple, they get it, they are dry, they are able to go back to their families, they are able to live their normal lives, they are able to work, they're able to get another baby. Our fistula projects and maternity units have the capacity to help up to 10,000 women and children every year. And their emotional healing is just as important as their physical healing. We here feel that every woman should be given dignity and should be loved and taken care of. And in our fistula unit, people actually comment about the wonderful atmosphere and how caring an environment it is. And that is the message that we'll be giving to our newly trained midwives, not just to be there to deliver the baby, but to give the woman dignity and give her her place and to treat her with love and with care. Our goal is for every woman in Africa to have access to free maternity care which we believe is a basic human right in the 21st century. With your support, we can help the women and girls of Africa. With your support, we can give them back their future.
My life has changed a lot because now I'm free to do whatever I want. But right now, I just thank God for bringing these doctors here to help us. And now I am very happy because I, because I was not leaking urine and I was planning to go back to school. The child I got in, when I was 12, it died. But now I'm proud that I have a son and I call him a firstborn. I forgot everything once I, I got my treatment. It's like I'm born again.